here today. Kind of what was your goal? Uh, I just want to play, come out here and play football. Um, apparently, I can do certain things, and I just want to prove people. I wanted to prove to people that I can do it. Not necessarily about proving anybody wrong or proving anybody right. It's just showing what I can do. At the end of the day, it's all business. I understand that, and I just wanted to show what I can do. So, How would you grade your performance today? Probably a C plus. Uh, <coughs> I'm the type of person I feel like I can do a lot of things better. Um, but I did everything I was supposed to do. I wish I could exceed those expectations. But at the end of the day, I'll put my best foot forward. I'm gonna just keep working and keep going. So. What kind of feedback might you have heard from some of the NFL scouts? Um, they said I look good, but honestly, I thought I thought I did a lot better. You know, I really appreciate them coming out here and um, just evaluating me. I feel like that's a big part of this process. Not, and it's crazy because not a lot of people get all 32 teams out here for a So I'm just really appreciative of them, and I just wanted to. I'm, they said I did good, but I want to show more. What's the one thing that you're thinking about that maybe you could have done better? Um, just smoother out my breaks. Um, I thought I was pretty smooth, but I just want to be more fluid. I know I'm going to be going against the best corners in the league, um, the, the big names, and I just want to be ready to go against them day one. I want to be ready to compete. Day one, so. Were there any goals that you had for yourself that you did accomplish today? Um, get through, not get through today, but just finish today. It's not really like I'm sitting on hat for this. I just wanted to be smooth. I wanted to be crisp. Um, it sounds bad that I didn't have any goal set for today, but I just wanted to show them that I can do whatever I do. So, What's the feedback that you know your group is getting from the NFL day two, day three? Where do they see you kind of slot in? Um, it's just very sweet with the team. So only God knows where I, where I go. Whatever happens, happens. As long as I get the opportunity to show what I can do with the team, I'll be fine with wherever I land. Um, it don't matter if I just get my foot in the door. I can, I can take the corner. Have teams asked you specifically about any of your injury history or anything they might be concerned about? Yeah, it's a lot there? of it's a lot of teams that ask me about injuries, and um, I cleared everything out. The MRIs, um, my body's full go, 100 um, percent. MRI, CT scans, DEXA, whatever they wanted to see, I was open to do, and I did it. And I was, came out fine. I look good. I feel great. I'm ready to keep going, keep working on my body, uh, keep elevating, and I'm, I'm ready to show. Do you feel like that's the most important thing for you? Is just just being available for things? Yeah, of course. That's that's the number one thing for everybody. It's just availability. Um, best ability is availability. And I feel like if I just keep working on my body, I'm gonna be uh, in a good spot where I don't get hurt anymore. So. Did you consider it all maybe coming back now that you were finally healthy and kind of showing what you could do for, for one more season? Or I guess, what was that kind of thought process like? Um, it's just, I don't, I don't really know how to f feel about that. I just, whenever I make a decision, I pray about it. Um, talk to my family about it. Talk to my friends about it. Uh, obviously, a lot of people want me to come back, but at the end of the day, I can't take back what I did. I can't take back anything. Now I'm just moving forward, looking forward. Uh, like everybody says here, the best is yet to come. So if I'm looking backwards, it's not really going to help me or benefit me. Um, I love, like when I came back here, I, I really, honestly, I'm going to just keep it up. Like I really, it was sad that I left. Like I felt sad when I was leaving, but I feel like it was the best thing for me to do. Um, and I just, I did what I did and I just went. I'm not looking back, have faith, have faith in myself. And that's all I did. So. Did you feel like you did prove some things last year with, with your play and, and some big games that you had? Um, yeah, I, th I felt like I proved some stuff. Um, there's always more I could have done. Um, uh, but at the end of the day, whatever I showed, I showed. I can't, like I said, I can't take anything back. I'm too late to even reconsider, too late to even look back. Um, so I'm just, my best, my thing is looking forward, getting better every day, 1% getting my body right. Weight room speed, everything, catching, ball skills, contested catch, everything. That's all I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm gonna try to come back here as much as possible. Uh, if I'm welcome, I'm welcome. If I'm not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna come in a hoodie. So, <laughs> that's just me. So when, when you say it was, it was sad. What, what was, what, what specifically was it about that that made you feel that way? Just my friends, like all my friends stay, uh, and I just, I love it here. I felt like when I came back, I felt like I was. 
doing what I was supposed to do. Like I was in the bistro yesterday, I'm like, all right, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. I just felt like my way of life, uh, everything else feels so foreign, but here it feels like home, it feels like regular when I'm just here. So it's sad that I left. It's sad leaving your friends, but business is business at the end of the day, and I'm, I just have to take care of business. All that, all the friends and everything come later. Um, I'll hand out. We can, when the off season comes, we'll get together, be, in, be somewhere. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Miami, so we'd be somewhere, but at the end of the day, business, business, they got to get ready for their season, I got to get ready for my upcoming season, so. Where are you training? Um, I was training in Bomberitos in Miami, Florida, but uh, I'm about to be training in the Bay Area, so. In this process, um, have you gotten, like, compared to any receivers or maybe some guys that you follow your game after, like, you know, when you're talking to the NFL <laughs> scouts and they say, oh yeah, you remind me of this person, or. Um, like this guy. Honestly, I really think I, I think I, my game is smarter after uh, Mike Evans. Um, kind of see similar in what we do. Um, but I can get into the details, but it's just too many things that I'm like really detailed. So I could go on and on about Mike Evans and I study him. I'm a big fan of him and uh, what he does. So. What was kind of your goal? show today as far as just the route running part and catching some of that kind of stuff that part of it today um, it was honestly a light day but i just wanted to show i could get in and out of breaks <coughs> uh, that was the biggest thing i guess it was thinking i, I couldn't do that so that's just what i wanted to accomplish what i wanted to show is there one team that you've talked to the most or shown what do you think most interesting you at this point um the jets i interviewed with the jets quite a bit quite a bit some other teams, but I've, I went from the NFL PA to the East West to Combine, so I mean, I've, I've talked to the teams a couple times, some three, four times. Do you feel like those first two performances maybe helped you get to the Combine, or do you feel like you were good at the Combine regardless? And you nah, I had, the com I, had the combine. I had the Combine like pretty gotcha. early, so it was, I had it before I went to the PA, and I, I think I had it before, I definitely had it before I went to East West, so I had the PA, so. How how'd those first two help you maybe if at all? And you know, some guys, a lot of guys don't do all three. So, how about yeah, that? I was honestly, I could if they told me to go to Reese's, I would have went. Yeah, but I was ready to just ball, and I wanted to see, I want NFL scouts to see me up close in person, go and get some best competition. Um, that was just it for me. I just wanted to be, I wanted to see me up close. I was being physical, fast. I wanted to see everything up close. And if that, they would have told me to do five weeks of physical art and done it so easy. Any receivers coming back here that you like to watch out for? Any everybody big news? Watch everybody. And I was just at practice two days in a row. Everybody's everybody. Um, everybody. I'm not going to point out one in particular, but, or two or three or four, but everybody seems to do good. The new offense is great hands. Um, o line looks good. Davis uh, Allen, I feel like everybody just is making strides. Everybody's buying into this process, so I feel like everybody's going to have a good year. Hopefully, everybody can eat. I want everybody to have a thousand yards. That's just how I am. I want everybody to eat. So. Um, Twenty thousand pesos. Yeah. Did uh, how how difficult was it mentally to just handle it seemed like one injury after another, and you just you know not being able to stay healthy and stay on the field for for teams to see you know to put you know so much to put film out there for for teams. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it tolls on the mind, but I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to remember who you are. You got to remember just where you come from. It's not about, like, what, you just have to bounce back. Life's hard for everybody. Yeah. And that's, I'm not going to say I'm tired about stuff, but I'm happy my last year I had no injuries. That was a big goal of mine. I accomplished it, so. Cool. I appreciate it.